It's with a great deal of pride and pleasure that we present on the scene tonight the one and only High Priestess of Hilarity, the funniest woman in the world. Need I say more? A great big round of applause to introduce to the stage tonight the one and only Jackie Mom Mabley. Bring her out here. Hey! Thank you, darling, thank you. I didn't know where I was going to get here or not. I got, I'm telling you the truth, I got on the elevator, started down the elevator in, in the hotel, got to the third floor, man got on with a gun stuck in the operator, chest and said, take us to Q. <laughs> Standing on 125th Street, a <laughs> junkie. <laughs> junkie stopped the cab. Got in the cab and said, Man, will you take me back down to Earth, babe? <laughs> them, them astronauts got back all right, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> One jumped out of the plane and says, says, how you feel? And the captain on the ship says, how you feel? He says, we engaged. <laughs> I got a little announcement to make with some gentleman in the house. With, uh, with the ticket number 23, go to the check room and check your coat, your pocket's leaking. <laughs> I just got in from the coat. I got down the coat a while. Just got in. Coming in, I was on the plane with a representative from Africa going, coming to the United Nations. And uh, <clears throat> the girl passed by with the menu. He said, bring me the passenger list. <laughs> she went, she went, went to the captain and told the captain. The captain come out and says, did you ask this lady for the passenger list? <laughs> and guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> Drunk at the point of corner, walks up to a man and says, I want your daughter for my wife. <laughs> so you go home and tell your wife she can't have my daughter. <laughs> Man was passing along the road by the insane asylum, and, and, and he said uh, he, he got a black tie. So he got that fitness black tie and put the boats in, you know, the, the, the cap after he took it off the top. He got ready to put his tie back on, he couldn't find the boat. He said, what am, what, what am I going to do? One of the inmates was standing looking through the fence at him. He said, what in the world am I going to do? Great goodness of life, we out here. And, yeah, I got a flat tire and I ain't got no, 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 no boots. And that, the crazy fellow says, uh, why don't you go around the other side and take a boat apiece from one of the wheels and put it on your car until you get to the nearest station. He said, doggone, that is an idea. Say, what you doing in there? You see, I might be crazy, but I am not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but Mom's got a little number that I'd like to do for you all. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Luther! Oh, Luther. <laughs> That's him at the piano, Luther. <laughs> Lou U T H E R, Luther. <laughs> What is that place without the dock in Luther? <laughs> what shall we do? The opera? Oh wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Luther. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, Luther. Wait, wait a minute, Luther. <laughs> I don't know where you've been with me too long. I ain't gonna be with me much longer. <laughs> Take your hands out of your lap. <laughs> No wonder you're crazy. <laughs> Luther, these are all operatic people I'm, I'm out here with tonight. You understand what I mean? I want you to play a real opera. You know? A real opera. Like you play for a real opera star. You know? Like... <laughs> Big Maybell or one of them I first start. <laughs> you have to get ready for that stuff, you know, you just can't stumble in them operas, John. <laughs> I can't stop. You have to get ready for it. <clears throat> one more time, Luther. <clears throat> <laughs> you gotta fuck do, it. Do I look like Lena Horne? The opera, one more time, Luther. <laughs> when you dip, don't do the dip, don't just be sure to. Have your switch blade with you when you tiptoe to the ghetto at night. Oh, somebody will go upside of your head. Take all your bread standing over you. And I do mean you. <laughs> oh, where can I run to? Well, who looks won't find me. Now, where can I go where they won't be blowing their hot breath behind me? <laughs> I moved from the city because they had no pity. But would you believe? After moving way out there, I got mugged by a bear. <laughs> 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 but at last, I found something to protect me like I've never been protected before. I found the answer to the cutting and mugging, and I'm not afraid anymore. He said, Mom, give me your money. If you don't, I'm going to take it. I say, go right ahead. If you take it, and you can make it. For once in my life, I bought something to protect me. And believe me, baby, I would use it. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, sweetheart. Man, <laughs> man was marooned on a desert island oh my God. with six women. Oh. <laughs> One man. <laughs> he said, now listen. Say, let's have a meeting. Say, let's get together now. <laughs> Say, I'm going to give each one of you one night a week. One whole day a week. On Sunday, I'm going to rest. 
<laughs> they all agreed. Oh, they had a, they had a, they got along lovely. Oh, for about, oh, for about four weeks. And after a while, one day they looked out and they seen a uh, ramp out in the ocean with a man on it. They said, got near the show. They said, is he dead? They put to him and said, I don't think so. No, he's not dead. And they patted his face, you know, and did everything. <laughs> After a while, the fella come to. <laughs> he, he jumped up. He said, oh, for goodness sake, where am I at? <laughs> Now the fellow said, oh, hey, oh, here go my son, dear. <laughs> they were looking, they were looking for the oldest man in the world. They went all over the world, that's why they went down in Mexico. And they seen a little man sitting up on the mountain all drawn up. They said, this has got to be the oldest man in the world. This has got to be him. They say, listen, Pops. Say, will you tell us what is the uh, reason for your long life? He said, yes. I run around with women. <laughs> Went out with young girls. Drank plenty of whiskey. Smoked a little pot. <laughs> he said, you done all of that and lived to be this old? Say, how old are you? He said, 35. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, these children are always asking me about something. I don't know nothing to tell them. But it's your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Honey, my king kid. Who's the son to your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who you're talking to. I only try to tell you what's wrong and what's right. But honey, I can't tell you where to hang out all night. But if you keep on walking, I mean, if you walk me alone, you may not get back to your home sweet home. It's your thing. What you want to do? Mom can't tell who to talk to you. Baby, it's your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to talk to You wanna do? I can't tell you who you're talking to. Don't you know your own thing? Do what you wanna do. I can't tell you who you're talking to. Cause I've got my thing, and I know what I wanna do. And I ain't gonna let you tell me who you're talking to. I may be old and kinda been with you. But I'm still kinda a hill child without shifting my gear. I still can't do what you want to do. I can't tell you who you're talking to. Maybe it's your thing. Do what you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you who you're talking to. Suck to the knees. 
sunk into the west, sunk into the world, that you like best, sunk it, sunk it, sunk it again, sunk it, sunk it, I know where you been, but it's your thing, do what you want to do. mom up always no mom you identify me and won't forgive me looks like for that old man I married that old man I married I mean old <laughs> old as air <laughs> and twice as polluted <laughs> They tell me I shouldn't talk about him like that, but any time any man older than the war, World War should be talked about. I mean, oh! My goodness, I, 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 I shouldn't talk about him, because he did. At last. Because he's been dead for years. He just died lately. about history, you want to look at him and you see history. <laughs> I talked to him one day, I bawled him out as usual. He was old, baby, I declare he was, no kidding, I ain't saying when he did, he was old. He was. Looked like six o'clock, right straight up and down. <laughs> Thin, puny, frosty. Rusty, <laughs> come telling me one day, that's all right. <laughs> you, 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 you just come upstairs. <laughs> I said, let's wait and see if you can get up to steps first. <laughs> Went to a movie, he come take me to a movie, and had no movie sitting down there. Of all things, he went to see a love picture. And he had the nerve enough to scratch my hand. I said, are you kidding? He said, that's all right. Uh, you, you, you think you get married after I'm gone? After I'm dead? I say, I ain't yet. You say, if you do it, it won't be the same. I say, I hope not. <laughs> Man come one day to take the senses. <laughs> Man come and say, I, I went to do it. I come to take the census. I said, well, I ain't got none. He done run me crazy. I said, go over there. Maybe you can get a little bit out of him what he's got left. <laughs> Nobody says, uh, I came to take the census. Uh, what's your name? He said, my name is Sam Doom. <laughs> Sam, Sam. Joe N.E.S. Jones. <laughs> he said, yeah. Say, do you own this house? Yes. I, 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 I bought this house 55 years ago. And I'm proud to say I'm still alive. I said, that's what you think. <laughs> say, uh, 
how about your wife? I say, he don't know nothing about me. That's all right. That's all right. If I was able, I'd hit you in your mouth. I say, you can't even raise your hand up to your own mouth. How you gonna hit you in me and mine? The man says, have you got any children? I said, Mission Impossible. He says, thank you very much. I'll see you next year. I say, you don't see him if it's up to me. Because if he ain't gone by next year, I'm gone. I ain't going for that no longer. And honey, I never seen a man so crazy about Pepsi Cola. <laughs> he loved Pepsi Cola. I never seen a man like that. I ordered four or five cases of Pepsi Cola a week. I said, next time I see that old man bring some Pepsi Cola in here, I said, I'm going to see what he's doing with it. So about, about the next week, yes, the man, hurry up and get your picture, darling. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of him one time. He'd been blind ever since. boy around the house and used to run errands for us, you know? <laughs> used to bring his Pepsi Cola in for him. I said, the next time that Pepsi Cola man come here, I'm going to find out what this old man doing to all this Pepsi Cola. <laughs> so up, next week he comes, four cases of Pepsi Cola. Little boy took it and drug it in the house, put it in the bathroom. Old man went in there and locked the door. <laughs> I said, that's all right. I went in the kitchen and got my little footstool, you know. <laughs> and put it and put it up the, 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 the transom. And I peeped over in the, over the transom to see what he was doing. There he was sitting in a tub of Pepsi Cola singing. Come alive. <laughs> When I was 14, before I knew what immigration means. Cause I lived so back by the railroad track till I was seldom seen. And I wore blue jeans and eat pork chops and beans till I was 17. When I was 24, I couldn't take it no more. I packed my shopping bag and caught a bus for Baltimore. But once in Baltimore, they wanted me to go in the back door, so I said to hell with Baltimore. <laughs> I'm 25. I got hip to the jive. I had a groovy bed waiting in Harlem when I arrived. I forgot to sting. That Jim Crow could bring. Thank God for Martin Luther King. Between civil rights, you know, I was working in Washington and it kept me run down there day and night. White power and black would move down my back till I didn't know where I was at. Da -da -da, and I'm old and gray. I'm glad I'm here to say. Oh if we all pray, things will get better day by day. That is, if we be good yes. and act like we should yes. and practice brotherhood. <laughs> then we can lay down our burdens down by the riverside. Yes. Down by the riverside, down by the river, 
Then we can lay down our burden Down by the riverside Study and walk no more Well, I ain't gonna study one no more I ain't gonna study war no more Ain't gonna study war no more I ain't gonna study war no more Study war no more Ain't gonna study war no more government and um, I'm a spy. <laughs> I'm the only known spy to loan up to it. I'm a spy for my government. I love my government. I'm an American. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm born, I'm American. You know? I'm from the United States. And I work for my government. I don't know nothing about it over there. Damn it, I don't know nothing about it over there. <coughs> I got a letter from Nixon just the other night. He wrote me, he said, uh, Mom, is everything all right? I said, Son, you're doing all right. If you just can keep it up, you sure can't say there's nothing wrong if you keep your big mouth shut. <laughs> He said, he said, Mom, you know best. I would like to see you come down to Washington, D.C. I said, son, I'm getting old. Can't do much running around. You better come to see me. <laughs> he said, well, Mom, uh, do you live in Harlem? <laughs> After all, you know I'm white. <laughs> and all the security in the world won't help my head at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, uh, son, I live in White Plains. <laughs> but don't, that, don't let that fuel you. The community is black. <laughs> so if you come to my house, would you mind coming around the back? <laughs> Well, well, he come up, we sat down over a plate of hocks, hocks and good peas, and I said, will you excuse Agnew from the room while we, while we discuss foreign policy? He said, Mom, I want you to be my ambassador to Vietnam. I said, you know, you know hunt son, you never heard me cuss, but Richard, I'll be damned. I said, besides, don't, they don't have no soul food over there. That alone can make me sick. How the hell can I eat chitlins when they keep slipping off the stick? I said, no, Chris. I can serve my country best by staying here with you. If I got bummed out over there, who would you have to run to? I say, listen, son, withdraw them troops from Vietnam. 
and from the Berlin Wall. You better hurry and get them back, because we might need them next fall. Yeah. Yeah.